exceeded all expectations of what you all could have possibly seen him evolving into at this point? I'll be honest with you, when I came here, I didn't know any of the guys on the roster. So when I came here, it was a really a clean slate for me in terms of knowing anybody. So in all honesty, when Sam has got here, he has done everything we've asked him to do and beyond. You know, so he's just stacked each day, gotten better each day, and where he is now is just a result of that. From what he's done all spring, really started the spring, he really impressed me. Wow, the detail that this guy you know, takes into account every play, every meeting, and then the physicality, putting it all together once we put the pads on was was really impressive to me. So, And he's continued to get better, and that, that's been the key. And with Raekwon having missed a month, is it realistic for him to have a significant role early in the season? You know, I, I hope so. You know, he, he's put in the time. He's come into the meetings prepared. You know, Raekwon's been excellent off the field, excellent. You know, and I, I, he, you can't control the off-field injuries. And, you know, um, I'm excited for Raekwon this season. But, you know, week to week, you know, it, we'll see where he is. We will see where he is. I remember Sam telling me that he didn't run a very fast 40 once and that that hurt him, you know? And, yeah. But, but on the field, it seems like he reacts fast and yeah. plays fast. What, what do you see on that? Yeah, he plays fast with zero hesitation. He plays like a confident football player that's played a lot of football in the CFL for three years. And in my mind, you can't replace that experience. You know, see ball, get ball. You know, he was a highly productive player in the CFL. I remember when I watched his tape back when I first got here, that's the first thing that flashed is no hesitation, explosive, and can tackle. And, and it's hard to, you know, you, we can coach it, but that, that's pretty instinctive right there. So I was, a, I was excited to start with him at that point with that, and that's what's shown up. Got hurt, but what had he shown? Um, toughness again, versatility. Um, you know, he's got some. He's football savvy. You know, he knows how to not be blocked. He knows how to play on the edge and play to his skill set. So that was impressive early on, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get him back. Thanks. How yeah. is uh, Joe Shad from Palm Beach? Hey, how you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Hey. Did you work in college football? One point? Yeah, I was at NC State. NC State with Doran? No, I was with. Oh, I played uh, okay. for Chuck. And then Chuck Amato, and then I played for O'Brien, and then I GA for O'Brien uh, from 10 to 12. Okay, I was at ESPN College Football from 05 to 16, okay. so I'm certainly on campus a yeah. few times. Yeah, know all those guys. Um, uh, Bink, as the uh, guy who has the headset, right? So yeah, at least yeah, usually. Yeah. Um, how what what goes into that, and how yeah. does that uh, mesh with his skill set? Um, well, to be honest with you, we kind of. In terms of the headset, we kind of cross-train a lot of people, in all honesty. And uh, he just happens to be the, you know, the guy right now. And um, I'm sorry, repeat the question in terms yeah, of... I was just asking about Bake in terms of him, his uh, intelligence and uh, knowledge of the game and being able to help his teammates when he's in charge of uh, taking the play calls. Yeah. Yeah. In all honesty, the way I see it on our defense, I, I coach spots. Bake just happens to be the center of that spot right now. So when he's when he's out there, and that could be different. You know, if a different game plan and Bake's not out there and Sam's at that spot, he may be running the show. You know, whoever is kind of in the center of the defense kind of runs the show, like your traditional Mike, as you would know back in the day. And that, that happens to be where Bake is excelling for us right now. So he's kind of running the show from that I can't believe I don't know this. Yeah. Do multiple guys have the ability to listen do multiple guys have a helmet that can be tuned in to the coach at a certain point, or does a guy like just one on offense, one on defense? But you can to the whole game. You can you can exchange within within a game. Okay, so yeah. the vet, so uh, so Bake might have like a wired heads helmet and a non wired helmet, and he has to know which one. To yeah, wear. I mean, shoot, if we want to put the uh, you know. On Christian Wilkins, we want to put the okay. mic on him. We could do that. You know, you, you oh, so have one you mic on offense and I'm one mic on that. defense. I don't know this, but you yeah. physically move the mic into a helmet. Every helmet yeah. is equipped to be able to handle the yes. the, the listening device. Yes. It's good to know. Yeah, yeah, like no, no. You're right. Yeah. You I can give I, it to. I honestly didn't know. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, let's see. Anybody else? So we got the new guy uh, from the Saints, right? Yeah. Uh, from Wisconsin, right? Uh, Beagle. Yeah. Yeah. Vince so, Beagle. I don't know how much film you've watched, but what. Uh, do you think he seems to, to do well? You know, right off the jump, just having first met with him yesterday, he's extremely smart. He's physical. Um, you know, he's got some good size to him. 
um, again, another versatile player, it looks like. Um, but again, I go back to what we say our identity is tough, smart, disciplined. He kind of checks all those boxes. So, um, you know, I'm excited to work with him. And, you know, what do you know after a day and what you've seen on film? But, but I'm excited from where he is right now. Appreciate it. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. I grew up in, uh, in New York. Did you really? What yeah. part? Seeing from him, from a pass rushing uh, perspective, and mm -hmm. uh, how much can we expect to see him in that sort of role as opposed to, you know, coverage and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, may seem cliche, but we're going to go week to week. What's what's the best thing for him to do this week? Best thing for him to cover? Best thing for him to rush? Okay, who's he rushing? Can he win? Can he beat this guy? Is this guy big? Is this guy small? How does that match up versus big skill set? How does that help us? You know, does having him cover and not rush, does that hurt us or help us more? You know, that's kind of how we do it. And we have the tools in place to put him in position to do those things. You know, really that just match his skill set and um, that's kind of how the conversation goes in all honesty mm -hmm. yeah so but do you like what you're seeing out of him as far as his pass rushing ability absolutely I, you know I, I want him to play fearless you know and, and when he's rushing the passer he's to me just using his raw natural athleticism first to win and um I always like to see that. When people are just playing and not thinking, you normally get the best version of themselves, and, and that's what I see when I rush. When I see him rush, um, you know, work on getting the quarterback to the ground, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> what about with Sam? I mean, that's a guy who I think has impressed a lot of people. Yeah, here. yeah. Um, how has he been able to come so far so fast? And, and did you even have any suspicion he was going to be what he is? Yeah. Yeah, I was I was telling these guys, you know, when I clicked on his CFL t tape when I first got here, you know, the thing that jumped off to me was like this guy's all over the field making tackles, like explosive tackles, running down people, and violent on contact. And I, you know, having this be the first time that I got a player from Canada, uh, I can't help but think, you know, that experience, that three years there of just playing football, you know, had to help him because I don't know the player he was coming out, but um, it's, it, you know, you, it's hard to teach that, you know what I mean? Just, just being instinctive and finding the football and, and being violent on contact. You can work tackling all you want, but that's kind of a mentality more than anything, and Sam is that way uh, just naturally. But how do you know, or how, how do you, it must be difficult from a scouting perspective because there are a lot of guys, you know, college, CFL, yeah. whatever, who look good, but you got to weigh the level of competition and does it translate to the NFL? Oh, sure. There's there's a lot of different, in my opinion, there's like, there's a lot of different factors of how that translates to the league. Like, you know, when you watch the tape and a guy's making tackles all over the field, is it within the scheme of the defense or is this guy just running around? You know what I mean? Is he, you know, when you're watching the college tape, like, try to figure out generally okay what's going on what are they asking him to do and, and or is this guy doing his own thing and making plays does that make sense yeah, right. so um, to me you can tell the difference in the one one doesn't translate to this league just doing your own thing and being a better athlete than other people that doesn't translate to this league because you get here and everybody's pretty good but if you're making plays within the defense that's a whole different thing you know what I mean and with Sam he has that discipline yet that tenacity